little bit different. We're performing surgery on a beanie baby. Yes. So I am very curious to see what the beans inside this beanie baby look like. So I just picked this up at a local dollar, sh um, not a dollar store, a Goodwill, duh, for like 99 cents. Um, and I'm feeling kind of bad because this is kind of cute. But we're going to take out the beads and then re-add in some stuffing so this can become more of a plushie. And I just kind of want to see what's inside one. So this is Tuffy from the Beanie Baby collection. Um, I don't even feel bad because this is cute. But in the name of science. So I'm just going to lay her down on her tummy and maybe do some snips near the belly oh i feel so bad but okay here we go and these are a bunch of little plastic beads that kind of look like the ones that like famous slime people use in flomes so going to pour some of those out and there's also a little bit of stuffing back in there so this isn't just completely beans so we're going to pull out some of the stuff okay there's more beads let's pour out some more beads first so we're not even all the way done and we have about uh, half a cup of these little bead thingies. So now we're going to pull out some of the stuffing because my goal is to take out everything and then restuff it. And this is just like average toy stuffing. And we have more beads. So here's just a little update. My house kind of looks like a crime scene right now. Uh, we've got a dead beanie baby beads everywhere the tiniest bit of stuffing a ton of beads and um yeah so now we're going to just restuff this and i did end up leaving the head stuffed because that didn't have any beads in it so we're going to restuff his body sew his belly back up and uh maybe find something to do with all these beads so now that you have your unstuffed beanie baby with no beans and some toy stuffing, you're just going to take this and insert it back into where it came from. So you're going to need, I like to stuff all of the legs first, just because I think those are going to be the easiest to stuff. And then you can work your way to the inside of the beanie baby. going to take your needle and thread or your super glue if you're comfortable with a needle and thread and begin sewing all the way up through the belly. And for this I'm just using some tan thread. When you get down to the end, loop it through one more time and tie off the end of your thread. I like to do this at least twice just to make sure that my thread won't come loose or untie or anything along the lines of that. Okay. So it's not visible down there. And you're done. Thanks for watching even though this is a very different DIY. And leave me in the comments what you think I should do with all of these little bead things. I'm thinking of fishbowl slime. Can anybody second that? I'm not really sure. But thanks for watching and bye!